Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here today. You look really good, but what else is new? Today we're watching some classic Bleach Bales. Apparently also, everybody that we're watching today has never bleached their own hair themselves. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people who absolutely demolish their hair, and there might be a couple people who get out of this with actually a cute look. Cause sometimes you guys surprise me with the things you accomplish at home. Let's see what happens today. Up first, we have a video by Alexis Marie. Tomorrow we will be dyeing my hair. Okay, let's examine the palette we got going on because her hair looks to be virgin or looks to be box dyed black. I would prefer the virgin hair one because otherwise she's gonna have a very, 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 very hard time lifting out that very dark color she has going on. So handsy today. I've been wanting to dye the two front strands of my hair like platinum blonde. Take God! She's just doing some some strips of blonde in the front, like a skunk stripe type thing. I keep on looking all around the room today. I don't know what's going on. Is there like a... a what ADHD needs to... Suck it in and come back to life, Brad. Look forward, not around. All right, we're back. Hi, that's good. All right, let's keep going. I don't think I've ever dyed my hair by myself, by myself. Okay, this section is super important when you do these skunk stripe pieces. You have a lot of options here, okay? You can either just do the, those kind of like triangular sections at the top, basically going from your part down to the corner of your eyebrow. That's a great sectioning for this. Or you can do the extended skunk stripe if you want to be really crazy with it and go from the part up here here all the way down to the front of the ears. That way you have this entire thing colored. So if you pull your hair back, you get that entire moment where it looks like you colored your entire head, but it's just the front. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna do 40 minutes or like 30, cause my hair is black. And then I'm gonna do 15 minutes with my roots. Kinda like how it smells. Don't put that in your nostrils. Believe me, I've had a lot of bleach in my nostrils and look at how I, ended up. Mental damage, physical, well, physical is kind of looking slay today, but mental for sure fucked up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you so mean to that bag? Damn, you destroyed that thing. I think she's trying to use it as a glove because she forgot to get gloves. Honestly, I'm just grateful she's covering her hands. We've seen a lot of people raw dog it with no gloves or no protection and it's not good. That sh hurts. All of your little fucking lines and shit on your hands will be burned off by the end of the bleaching processing. Oh my god. Bro. Guys, I don't think this is right. No, it's definitely not right. What you do need to do is apply way more lightener. Oh my god, please do not tell me that's all she's applying. We need to saturate the hair in lightener. Boom, 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 boom. This shouldn't be that hard, but I'm sure it will be. Yeah, I was doing that with my fingers. I'm struggling. What the f is going on with these foils? What is that? Be careful when you clump foils like that because what happens is it can be clumped in some areas, right? Like push down on the hair and it can kind of move the lightener off of that spot and create like a line where you crumple the foil. So we really want to fold the foil nicely and make it nice and compact and don't squish it. Don't do that. Yeah, so it's already been like 20 minutes and this shit has not changed color. Why is she applying more? What's going on? I mean, I'm glad she's applying more because there was not enough on there, but like, what? I don't know why I did this so late, girl. Her hair does not seem to be lifting at all. Like, not even a little bit, so cool. After this three minutes, I'm gonna do 10 more minutes. No, girl, you're gonna need like an hour of processing time on that hair. Your hair is dark. Then something tells me it is box dyed because it's not lifting. Or you just like didn't actually mix developer in with the lightener. I'm confused. Why is it not lightening at all? Oh yeah, I forgot to record y'all. I'm like trying to be Real focused right now. She did do a really good job though, I will say, at waiting to apply the lightener to the root. Like she really was waiting until something happened with her ends in order to do the root. Except I don't think she waited quite long enough because we need to wait until those ends and midsections get like yellow or like pale yellow until we hit the roots because those roots lighten quickly. They're like that. I'm putting this on for 10 minutes, so it's gonna be 50 minutes together. And then I'm gonna wash it out, put coconut oil on it. Yo, so I'm washing it out and I'm gonna dye it again. <laughs> I wouldn't wash that out. Like, why are your ends actually the same color that you started with? I don't know what developer she's using, but it must be 10 volume because nothing is happening. Babe, we need something to happen. Let's go. Oh, that's so funny. Ooh. 
absolute f fail. <laughs> what happened? My hair feels so dead, guys. It's like red and then black. Wow. I'm just gonna dye it again. I think I'm gonna go for 30 minutes. And you know, I'm like kinda like even though it's looking f up, I like like the lightness. Where's the lightness? Am I missing it? Where is it? Because I have been searching all over for it and I can't find it. What? I'm like flattening it out at first and I'm coating it a lot. Round two. Okay, so I'm about to do my roots. I'm just gonna go to sleep, bro. I'm not doing this how round. All right, well, we said fuck it this time to doing the mids and ends first and doing the roots last. We just did the entire thing at once, so. <laughs> Can we do five minutes to see how I'm feeling? Please, this time, please, let something happen to her hair. Like, honestly, just anything. What it was giving last time was absolutely nothing. Oh, fuck. you know what I was supposed to do? I literally bought this so I can keep bleaching it, like, if it doesn't go right, so it doesn't damage that much. But I'm not even using that house, so the third time, I'm gonna use this. No! <laughs> Don't use 10 volume. It's not gonna do anything to your hair. Your hair is black or very dark brown. You need more developer than that. You need more. Okay, it looks like pink in the camera. Or like red, but it's not. It's just because it's wet, but it's definitely not as light as this. But it did get a lot lighter. Oh, this is one of those videos that is torturous. It only looks like a half a shade lighter. Oh, I don't want to watch anymore. Just do something. I'm going to do the rest of the morning. It's going to look fine, though. <laughs> the hot roots look so crazy. <laughs> what? This is so painful. Dude, this should have been done in one pass or maybe two. Like, I don't know why we're on step three now. This is so much work. All you gotta do, 30 volume lightener, a lot of it, a lot of it on there. Mids and ends, boom. Place it in a foil, a beautiful foil. Smaller sections, the better. Your hair will process better and more evenly and faster. So you could probably do like four different foils or even six if you really wanted to go crazy. And then once the ends and mids are processed to a yellow, a bright yellow, we then can do the roots. But this way of doing it is a disaster. It's already been in for like 40 minutes and then I'm just doing five minutes on my roots because they're like already hella yellow. <laughs> Oh, I'm done with this video. I'm just gonna fast forward to the end, guys. I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Like, I'm gonna have to do a little skim right now. Hold on, let's let's do a skim together because I don't want to keep watching this if nothing happens. She's got some more lightener in some spots and her roots are blonde, but her ends are still red. Um, What else we got going on here? Uh, Oh, it's getting lighter. Let's come back to the video here. I feel like it wasn't bleaching that good because I kept washing it with shampoo. Like, I think you're supposed to let your hair be dirty. No, that's not true. Your hair can be clean or dirty. Your scalp will f hurt if your hair is clean and you're bleaching your scalp. But it does not matter if you're shampooing your hair. That's not gonna make a difference. You're not using the right developer. It's not as light as I wanted it to be. So yeah, I'm using T10, which is pale blonde. So <sighs> your hair is not light enough for that color. You'd probably be better off just putting a blue semi-permanent color on your hair, like a very light blue. And we'll probably turn your hair like a nice gray, a dark gray. So it's like black. It looks like a caramel brown. I'm not really fucking with it. Ah, <sighs> you and me both. We're not fucking with it. I'm about to cry. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Why does it look like that? I'm only saying ew because we're both in agreement. Why did it turn so dark? So I'm not supposed to be using box dye, but we're doing it because we can't find any toner. Ah! This video just keeps getting worse! Oh my god! You guys, I've been through it! She's using box dye now, which is a permanent color, and color doesn't lift colored hair. So the most it's gonna do is just like tone it. Let me also say, in that same breath, color does actually lift color even though technically it's not supposed to. So she could get some kind of result here, but I don't think it's a good idea. And she does need to bleach her hair again to get the best results. Oh my God, it's literally kind of... I'm leaving right now. My hair's not completely dry, but that sh is dead. Like, I really like the color, I think. Hey everybody, so this is what my hair looks like. Okay, end the video, bye. <laughs> what? How the hell did she end up with something that is wearable? It's actually even from roots to ends. What? It doesn't look bad. It's just still very yellow. But with the right toner, like a level nine ash, she could make this nice 
and ashy and silvery and beautiful and it'll really go much better with her base color on the back of her hair. That was horrifying. I hated watching that. Thank you, but no thank you for making that video, um, Miss Alexis. But um, I hope you're okay now. I hope you've recovered from that horrifying bleaching session. Ah, because I know I haven't recovered yet. I will. Uh, I hope I will. <laughs> Up next, we have a video by the Asian Latina. It definitely looks like I don't have any eyebrows right now. And it's because I'm waiting to bleach the whole head too. To achieve a light brown color. All right. If your hair is not yet colored, I really hope it's colored. Because if it's not colored, all you had to do was just get color. You know, like you can lift your hair color without bleaching it if it's virgin hair. <sighs> so I hope that she really does have colored hair. And if she does have colored hair, uh, I mean, Luckily, she's only making it light brown. She's not going blonde, but um, she has very dark hair. So this is gonna be a little bit of a task. Bleach is one to two ratio. So one scoop bleach, two scoops developer. I use three scoops. BW2 is strong. And she is actually following the mixing ratios, which is commendable. Great job. Okay, another thing she's doing great is starting from the bottom of her hair and working her way up. She's taking relatively small sections and she's not doing the root first, which is really great three things. Ooh. The thing she's not doing correctly, which seems to be a theme today, is not putting enough lightener on the hair. This is dry. Creamy, thick, white substance on the hair that is what we're going for okay she's applying it to the whole head she's working her way around avoiding the roots as much as possible it's looking dry it's looking like not enough lightener by far not enough oh boy it's starting to get really really bad at the top um we were doing good at the bottom we were taking small sections and now at the top we are just taking these big ass clumps of hair and just slapping it on and just calling it a day. You're gonna get a lot of spotting that way. It's not gonna look right. It's not gonna look cute. It's not gonna be the look that you want. I promise. So stop. Horizontal section, guys, or vertical. Honestly, any kind of small sectioning. Just grab a tail comb while you do this, you know? Section and then apply. Do one layer at a time. One two, three, four, you know? Go up the head, just like that, it's so simple. I can't believe that's the amount of lightener she's gonna put on her head. There's literally nothing there. The most important thing for her to consider or to remember while doing her lightening process is to not lighten her hair to a pale yellow or even yellow. Like if we're trying to do a light brown, we want to get it to that orange stage. Um, we do not want to go past that because when you put that brown on, you want a nice orangey base to work with, right? Because that makes the brown really rich and vibrant and healthy looking. If we go too blonde, you're going to get a very hollow color once you apply that brown over it and it's going to fade off really quickly because there is just nothing behind that color holding it down there is just <laughs> that hair is just like ready to let any color molecule out of it when your hair is damaged and too light it doesn't like to stick onto things all right we're going into the roots because she's only going to a light brown this might be an okay to stage to start doing the roots except i don't know it's really hard to see through the screen also she did a good job i'm glad that she didn't let her ends get to blonde before doing the roots because that's not what she wants that is not the end result she desires no 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 we're on my my second bleach i did a bleach bath which did help a lot and there was a lot of yellowing no we went too far it's yellow <laughs> exactly what i didn't want to happen oh my god and she has hot roots <laughs> this is where we're at Oh Lord, it does look decently even and an okay base to put the brown on. I really switched up from like two seconds ago where I said everything looks terrible, but it, she ended up pulling it together. I got Carol liquid permanent medium rich. Carol, it's Clairol. <laughs> Come on. Neutral blonde, but it's actually like a brown. Oh my God. Neutral blonde is not a brown. It's either Carol is wrong or it's you. I'm gonna say it's you. And you're actually coloring your hair blonde. Okay, we're going at 30 volume with the permanent color. So she's gonna get even more lifting, which she doesn't need because her hair is lifted enough. You could go in with 10 volume with this color because we just want deposit and the least amount of lifting power possible. 
It's gonna be really important now that she does not miss any sections. When you're doing this at home, it's probably gonna be best for you to use a cutting comb with wider teeth on one end and comb through your hair as you put that brown onto it to ensure you got every single spot of your hair covered. It is so easy to miss spots, even as a professional, when you're going from a very light color to a very dark color. So using that comb to ensure that you got every single piece and moving it in different directions, the hair flow, you know, getting it all in there, it's gonna be really important to making sure you don't miss anything. We are getting that color in there. At least she's sectioning. Not great sectioning, but she is sectioning. And she is fully covering every strand of her hair. So I love to see it. And I feel like we might get a decent result here. Here's an update of my hair. I did do some blue shampoo, so I got like a little more brown, light brown. I achieved it. Some people say it looks like a dirty blonde, but I don't care. I like the color. What? Yo, she actually slay that that is a cute color it is definitely blonde not brown but it looks amazing it's like a dirty blonde color and it looks very very natural i don't know how she accomplished that and she made it look so easy but it looks beautiful it's a gorgeous very even color everything just looks like it came together for her so congratulations whoa oh my god up next we have a video by tara hartman Welcome to Tara's salon. That's a salon. Welcome. That don't look like a salon, Tara. That looks like your home. Now I've made it through my quarter life crisis. I'm a little too early for a midlife crisis. So I think right about now I'm going through like a, a third of life crisis. You know what I mean? I've been going through a crisis every quarter of every year since the day I was born. So for you to be hitting your first crisis, good for you. Pat yourself on the back if you have not had any crises in your whole life. You, my friend, are mentally stable. You have beautiful hair. Very long and luscious and looks very healthy and very natural. That's the key word. Again, is it is this their natural color? Nobody's telling me if, they're, if it's their natural. Sorry, I had so much saliva in my mouth. Nobody's telling me if they have color. <sighs> God, Ugh. sometimes like I have to talk about hair and I just like don't even know what hair is anymore. <laughs> Like I talk about it so much that I don't even like know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, la 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 la. So much hair stuff. Always talking about hair, 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 hair. Imagine if everybody was bald and nobody had hair. What would I do with my life? <laughs> Who would I be? It's my whole identity. <gasps> Wow, that'd be kind of crazy if I nobody had hair. And then I'd have to like figure out, whoa, what am I gonna do? I would work in the creative field. I would be like a clothing designer or some shit. I don't know. Make a matcha. I don't know. I'm getting tired today. Ooh. Today's a Saturday, by the way. And you know, Saturdays are usually for the boys. But today it's for Heritage Reacts. So, struggling a bit. I did do a little cheeky test strand uh, just to like try and see how many times I'd need to bleach it to get the sort of desired effect that I'm looking for. I'm ready for her to funk it up. Not funk it up, funk it up. Put some lightness in there or do the whole thing blonde. That would be a total new look for her and I'm very excited to see what she does. I'm also going to be cutting a little bit off of my hair. It's long. Oh, it is long. This is gonna be a long process to try and get this light. This is hard. How do you section your own goddamn hair? That literally took me 20 minutes to try to figure out how to like part my hair in a decent way. Okay, the sectioning looks clean. It looks legit. All right, I'll give you a round of applause for that. You did that, yeah. I bought the Ion Bright White Cream Lightener and I went with a 30 volume sensitive scalp developer. It's fine, I went with 30 because I have dark hair and also because I do have a little bit of that like reddish chestnut pigment kind of still in there a tiny bit from when I did like a tint because we're going for a blonde. We are not going for orange. Okay, slay. Yes, 30 volume and cream developer. Cream developer definitely lightens to the max. Not a huge fan of cream developer to be honest with you, but it works for some people. She's using 30 volume. Good choice for her. She said she has a little chestnut in her hair. I think she meant like she had colored her hair before previously and it had a little bit of that reddish orange undertone to it. So she's gonna need a lot of power to get that all lifted out and uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Y'all always try to do with a brush. Am I the one who taught you to use a brush for everything? I feel like I'm not that guy. Like I always like just use your hands. Go in with your hands, scoop some lightener and put it on there. I mean, at this point we're not doing anything precise. So you might as well just do it like that. And also to get your hair nice and light and bright from this dark brown, you're gonna need to use foil. So something to think about. This is really scary, but if there's one thing I've learned after watching thousands and thousands of hours of videos of people bleaching their hair, if you use enough bleach, everything will be okay. But this is what I'm talking about. She is using enough lightener. This is very 
very heavily saturated and that is what I like to see. One of y'all said I did it. And the other thing is, when I say don't do your roots first, I don't mean leave out three inches of hair at the root. I mean leave out one inch, all right, from the scalp, evenly. Like this is giving three inches. Ooh, hair still feels really strong, nice and bleachy. Yes, it's getting light, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Here's the first round of bleach, dry, mostly dried. Honestly, for a first round, not bad at all. I don't know why she didn't do her roots in one process. That's just so annoying to have to rinse it out, apply the roots, da -da -da, da -da -da, back and forth, back and forth. Do it all at once, okay? Well, do the roots last, but do it at the same time the mids and ends are processing. Ready for round two of bleach. And now I'm gonna have to mix up a fresh batch for my roots, I think, and we'll maybe add in a little bit of 10 volume so it is like closer to 20 volume rather than 30. So I don't like end up with extra hot roots because I feel like I'm doing it myself, you know? We're gonna get hot roots a little bit probably. You're gonna get banding is what you're gonna get because you have four inches in the back that has not been colored yet. That root section, that one inch off the scalp is gonna look great, but then everything in between is gonna look orange and then the ends are gonna also look decently good. Why did you leave that much out? Guys, one inch, one inch. Oh. This is starting to look spooky. She's going all over the place with this one. I don't know what the result is gonna be. Is she gonna break her hair off? She's overlapping onto the existing lightened hair. And some of those hairs were already nice and bright. I don't want it to sizzle off and die. Second round of bleach done with my roots. It turned out so much more even than I was expecting it to. I wouldn't say it's a level 10 blonde, but I'm not sure how it's gonna take the toner that I have. Yeah, it's definitely giving like level nine vibes, but she did a pretty good job. <laughs> I'm I'm interested to see the back though. I've started going crazy. It's a little rough at the moment. We're gonna fix it up. This is just like the rough beginning trim. All right, so I guess she finished the color section. I don't know what happened, but um, she's cutting her hair now. Why don't we watch a second of this? Oh my God, she's going short. I think it's pretty dang cute. On camera, for some reason, the color really turns out more orange than it actually looks in real life. It's definitely like a pearly blonde pink. I'm obsessed with it. I love it very much. Oh my God, she did such a good job. This looks great. I mean, like what she started with was such a kind of safe and like boring look and now she has a style she has a vibe she has something going on i love it like i'm so happy she took the leap of faith and colored her hair and cut her hair and she really kind of slayed it i would however like the underneath to be a little bit more ash tone just to complement the darker brown at the top or do the underneath like a purple or a pink or a blue or really any color that'd be really fun for you but overall i mean the vibe is there the vibe is good yeah you kind of slayed from what i could see i didn't see the back very much so i'm glad you hid that for me <laughs> well those first timers definitely looked like it was their first time. <laughs> but good, good job! Some wins, some fails, some in-betweens. Anyways, if you guys would like to shop my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so at the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. We just released our brand new Wave Tech Wave Foam with now Extra Hold. It's our number one top seller and I made it just for you. So you can check that down below as well. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.